Nobody thought to take a lot of pictures while I was in the hospital. So uh, what few we have, I thought I'd show you here today. This is the x-ray of my uh, neck. And you can see the normal spinal column are those white lines at the top and the bottom. In the middle of the picture, you can see those are gone because my spinal column is gone. It's in shrapnel. And that's what the surgeon had to pull out. And then he had to put plates in where the bone usually went. And uh, so that was his main job. Uh, this picture is very difficult to look at. Um, that's me early on. Obviously, I've still got the vent in. Uh, every life-saving thing I need is attached to me at this time. But I think it just goes to show how far I've come. So let's show you another angle of a picture I hate to see. Uh, same thing, you get a better look at that vent uh, taped right into my mouth. And uh, I was heavily medicated, so it didn't, well, I wasn't feeling anything. So I got the vent out on Tuesday, or yeah, Tuesday, if you recall. So here I am, and I had that neck collar on. 24 hours a day for 12 weeks. And it looks like the nurse here is trying to feed me some ice chips, which was the beginning of my diet. Um, not a lot of food early on. Now this picture, though, warms my heart. Um, this is only five days after surgery. And that's my mom and dad. And look at all the smiles on our faces. That's not a family that is uh, sad and uh, defeated. That is a family that's going to fight, and we are. that's where the optimism started, right there, right from the very beginning. And I was glad that they were there with me. This is the picture. This is a picture from the window of my room, uh, an ICU room in Petoskey Hospital. That is Bay Harbor out there which leads to Lake Michigan. Um, kind of a cloudy day for August, uh, but that is when I talked about a $500 a night room at a Hilton or something like that. That would be it. That's, that's the view I'm talking about. And finally, uh, here is our hero, Dr. Colin. We uh, spoke to him earlier. I hope you saw that video, but it's out there. He wore that hat uh, on the night of my injury as well when he was talking to me. And this is on the Tuesday I was discharged. He came in with that same hat. And that's what I told him. I says, I says, I remember that hat. I may not have picked out his face, but I definitely remember that hat. I bought that uh, hat similar to that as a tribute to Dr. Colin. And I wear it from time to time today.